Okay, everyone, here's going to be my quick review of the uh, Crucial C300 256GB uh, serial ATA 6GB per second SSD. What I've done on the drive right now, the only thing that's on the drive is I've installed the operating system, which is Windows 7 64 bit. I've installed the ATI drivers. I've installed all the Windows updates. And I've installed the uh, Creative Labs audio drivers for my X5. That's all that's on this SSD. So it's about as clean as you can have for an SSD. So I expect good things from it. Now, since I've had the computer on, it did seem like the computer booted into Windows a little faster, but it was nothing stellar. I mean, it wasn't like I turned it on and thought, wow, this SSD is awesome. When I installed Windows 7 operating system, it didn't seem that much faster than what I did when I originally used my Samsung 7200 RPM hard drive. What I did notice that was faster was when you're actually in Windows and I installed the Windows updates, those went like lightning. I mean, it wasn't didn't take long at all and it's been more responsive with you know bringing up menus and stuff and I haven't tried loads of pictures or anything so I think there is a difference but as far as startup I'm gonna go ahead this video I'm gonna time the startup and shutdown of the SSD I've already done it for my Samsung drive which I think it was, took 46 seconds to start the computer up from my previous video so let's go ahead and put this in there in my computer and see what it does So here's my drive. There we go. I'm going to stick it in. Now this is also a showcase on this, this wonderful Corsair 800D case. All I have to do to change hard drives is this. Hit that button. You pull the hard drive you don't want in it. not going to be using, which there's the Samsung. And you take the hard drive you're going to use, and you just slide it in. It's as simple as that. This case would be perfect for people that want to have a hard drive with a dip, different operating system on, which I'm actually thinking of doing that. Okay, that's it. We got that done. We got it in there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the start button and the power button at the same time. One, two, three. There we go. It seems like it takes a long time for my computer to even do the, uh, the BIOS loading. See, I'm already 15 seconds into it, and I haven't seen nothing of the BIOS. See, look at that. Heck, I never even saw it. So we're at 35 seconds. sound well you all saw it I mean it's no difference as far as startup as compared to my single 7200 hard, hard drive and you know what I'm almost wanting to just throw my hard drive back in there and test it again because that's pathetic $800 I spent on that stupid drive and it still takes 45 seconds to get into the into you know what that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna restart this thing put my other drive back in it and do it shut down wait for it to shut down and if you notice this right here this is my floor lamp for some reason I cannot get enough light in this room to make the videos look right So here we go. Wait for it, to, and it seems like it takes a long time to kick off too. <sighs> okay, we're off. Pulling out my cheap SSD. I'm gonna put in my 500 gigabyte Samsung. Get my silly iPhone, and we're gonna start at the same time. Go. Well, it took me just a second to get the... So here we are.
Nothing on the screen yet. 15 seconds. Twenty-one seconds. There's the windows. Starting windows prompt. Thirty-five. I think it's going to beat it. There's the sound. Okay, 51 seconds. Man, that is awful. Uh, if y'all don't care, for those of you that watch this video, time how fast your computer takes to start and post your times and tell me what type of hard drive and processor and whatnot you have because this doesn't hardly seem right. I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we all know I was disappointed in the startup performance of the C300. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the Addo benchmark and see how it compares to the Samsung. Here is the Crystal Disk Info for it. Uh, you can see I've had it powered on 10 times and I've only had power to it 4 hours. I think that's pretty cool, the information that gives it to you. And most of the <laughs> restarts have been testing the damn startup speed on it, which of course I'm not happy. Let's go ahead and give this a start here. It's the same test I did on my Samsung. Go. Okay. Now you can see on this, well remember for the Samsung, the spindle drive, the writes and reads were about on top of each other. Where this, there's more uh, difference between the two. And I, there, it just beat the Samsung right there. The Samsung did about 136 megabytes per second for both of those. Oh, there we go, 177 for that one. That's the right, and the read is better at 180. It's still going up. It should get to a point where it levels off. Two forty four for read, so that's good. Two fifty Now if I had serial ATA 6 gigabytes per second hooked up, it's supposed to be able to do 355 megabytes per second. So it looks like it's topped out at around 259 megabytes per second. It looks like where it's going to be. And for the right, it's at about 215. So there's a difference there. Uh, looks to be about double the read of my Samsung, but it's about 50% better for the right. So there is the Addo Benchmark, which of course that, those are pretty good scores, so I'm happy with that.